Hi guys, it's uh, Ken at Lionel for Less, and uh, yeah, I picked something up here over the weekend, and uh, I wanted to show it to you guys. It's some type of uh, old passenger set. I haven't really looked at it fully yet. This is just two cars, so you'll be seeing it with me for the first time. Uh, I don't know. I believe some of this uh, cars are old AMTs or possibly a, a, a rail chief kit. I know the rail chief kits came with the masonite board and uh, this is what these have underneath held in by four screws and all these details on the bottom are made out of wood. Uh, as you can see, the, the cars are not in so good shape right now. That's why I said it's going to be kind of a winter time project. Uh, you've got a lot of added on details put on and <clears throat> to my surprise, uh, they're not uh, just glued on. There they're are holes punched and they are put in there. You've got to grab irons here on this one, grab irons here. A grab iron there by the door and as you can see you know they're not in the best of shape as of this moment uh, you know that's why I picked them up second car it's in worse shape as you can see you know we got a lot of rust here starting to develop and the number 830 on there and once again the added uh, details grab irons and uh, the decal has worn off here and uh, no window inserts but you see the positioning of these windows <clears throat> it lets me definitely know it's uh, not a line L and for sure a uh, line L never had it, none of these smooth tops. But as you can see, you know, there's a considerable amount of rust that needs to be removed. Uh, they, these are gonna require some work to become nice again. What else we got here? which uh, is a little bit broken up here at the top but with some gentle persuasion I think that can be fixed and uh, this one does bear the, the New York Central Herald on it uh, once again a couple added on uh, detail pieces but yeah I, I believe uh, that this of them will be sal salvageable you can see the condition underneath uh, added details they're made out of wood This would be, let's see here, oh another coach, uh, this one here too used to say New York Central you can see, and uh, wow it's got some uh, finer window details put in. I said this must have really been a nice set at one time, uh, which is why I picked it up to try it out, bring it back to its former glory, and perhaps you know, even make it a little better and um, modernize it some. Put in LED lights. Uh, there are no lights or provisions for lights on this. Now this would be a rail chief car. This is the kind of ends that the rail chief had. 
the Real Chief kits. Uh, they were made by uh, a company, I believe they were called the Model Railroad Company or something like that. And it's from Real Trees Products Company in uh, New York, New York in the late 40s and the 50s. Uh, I asked some questions, the guys on Old Gager, because you know I had never seen these cars. And of course, on the forum, you know, somebody knew what they were. So, yeah, those are kind of cool the way those ends were. I don't know if all these details came with the kit or uh, it's just an add on by an ambitious modeler. You can see a considerable amount of rust here, surface rust, but it's still savable, I think. Masonite boards there holding it in. The added wooden details on the bottom. And I'm not sure if I will keep these this way or uh, perhaps, uh, you know, put uh, modern Lionel bottoms on. I'm not sure yet what I'm get, which uh, direction I'll go on that. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool with those blinds in there like that. Okay. Uh, I don't know how many cars came with the set. I forget. I just bought them off the guy. Mm -hmm. At the train show, he gave me a pretty good deal on him. So I figured, you know, hey, he, I like to restore. And here's a 3 509 car. Once again, pretty good and rusted up. Name worn off. Window insert is in there. This one also has the ends of the Rail Chief car. Uh, yeah, I'm beginning to think maybe these were all Rail Chief cars. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm seeing them really for the first time. I saw two of them at the show and I bought the set. The guy gave me a decent price on them. And once again, four screws holding the bottom on, and no wheel sets. These might have been a two rail set at one time, I'm not sure. I'm not for sure they've got that good old smell to them. These just came out of somebody's basement. And here's the observation car, which also in one time in life did say New York Central. This piece here is uh, metal, so is this. All this uh, added on detail, probably for the antenna, back in those days. Um, added grab irons, added on, or as Lionel would say, separately applied details. And once again, on the bottoms, no wheels, wooden, added on details at the bottom. And again, a couple screws holding that one in. I think that's all of them. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it was a six five set I need. Mean. Yeah, and now what I'll do from here is I will uh, take the bottoms off of the cars. And I like to give everything a good scrub when I first get it to see where we're at, you know, as far as just, you know, what's dirt and what really needs to be done and the restoration restoration process. And uh, that'll be step two.